All right, so I just competed in the Mr. Beast tournament where you basically just have to survive. That's literally about it. And yeah, if you're top one, you get $1 million. And if you're the top 100,000, you get the umbrella, and which I did in this video. And yeah, you're going to see me in this video struggle with a lot of things. And uh, yeah, did you have fun in this tournament? Let me know. All right. Oh, man. All right. All right. So in my first round of the tournament... It was, you know, obviously pretty easy if you played the survival games, you know, what tournament, avoid the bomb explosions, you know, Mr. Beast, you know, says emo, you know, or crouch, slide, go to the dance floors, pretty easy stuff. And, you know, I feel like this is the one where it's like, you can just stay calm um, around this area. So, you know, not too bad on there. Now I have the maze. This one is quite easy if you just follow your teammates. I mean, if you just jump like you know as you know as i do in the gameplay it's quite easy and you know i mean in this gameplay i didn't really do too good but later in the video or you know as i was playing the tournament uh i did you know i did pretty good so uh yeah now we get spawned back to the start and it's now crazy there's damage sequencers and damage volumes and if you lost health you can jump in the water quickly for some extra health or to get some health back and yeah, it's honestly crazy. And we don't have the sequins actually yet, or do we? I don't know. But I know we don't. We only have the damage volumes in the gameplay. And again, it's not too crazy, but later in the video, it will get much crazier than this. Red light, green light. This was pretty bugged. Like, you could literally not move, and it would just take you right back to the start. Um yeah like you really won't even move and it would just take you back to the start i think it's just like the radius if someone moves you get teleported with them back i don't know but yeah as you see right there i successfully did it on my uh, first try and yeah now we get spawned back again but this time it's crazy we now have the sequencers and we have damage volumes coming at the same time these are not that really hard to dodge some of them sometimes you won't even get you know taken damage from them so it would really help as well you know and you know, this jump in the water quickly for some health really does help especially around you know um you know when the sequencers and the damage volumes appear you know as you see right there i lost i did lose some health um so you know not too much so you know i'm still pretty good next is stay in the red circle this was pretty stressful um I mean, literally, because there was four Mr. Beast NPCs throwing impulses, chili grenades, and I think that was it. Um, and yeah, it, it was really crazy, especially when it kept on getting smaller. It's like, you know, if there was a lot of people, it really got like, crazy and chaotic. And, you know, but I managed to survive all these rounds throughout the tournament. So, um, you know, I don't have a problem with that one. Now, the floor is lava is next, and I just hated this one most because I was experiencing with so much mantling bugs. As you can see, like, right there, I literally fell to my death because, you know, I, I literally, uh, I didn't get much points because of that bug. So, I hope Epic can fix that because it, it, it really messed up. The next one was the tile dropper. Uh, this one was way easy. Um, as you can see right there, did it on my first try. I didn't get first place, second place, or third place, but I did do it on my first try. And yeah, this is probably the easiest round out of the whole tournament, or in general, the whole game mode. So, pretty free points right there. This round, I hate it so much. It's basically like Fall Guys Hexagon, where if you step on a uh, tile, it will drop down or disappear. And, oh man, it, it, this one really sucked when there's a lot of people... Um, you know, if you get this on your first round, it really sucks because a lot of people and yeah, I just right there, you know, I did not, you know, I did not, uh, successfully made it on time and yeah. And then once we get spawned back in chaos starts to happen. Oh my God, bro. Dude, yeah, I think I'm dead. I just, I'm taking so, bro. Yeah, I'm dead. I am literally dead. I am literally dead. 
And with that being my first round, I had 62,000 points, but that wasn't enough to win the umbrella. So I'm in my second game or match in the tournament, and it's floor is lava. And yeah, and I fell again. Unfortunate. And then it was find the briefcase round. This one was it was actually quite simple once you knew all the locations of the briefcase. Um, and yeah, you know, I feel like this is one you can follow, like just follow around people as well. And yeah, but uh, as I was playing the tournament, I found all the briefcases pretty easily, and I just got first place every time because it was just you know, you know, if you're playing the tournament or you know, you would just know all the locations. So yeah. And now it's the maze round again, and this time I do way better as, well, someone. I was just following someone, but I did good this time. And yeah, and then, you know, of course, I get the tile dropper again, in which I got second place. And this brought me up to 60, 64,000, in which, you know, when I was playing the mini games and the start, so you know, all that stuff. And then it got chaotic here again. I am dead. in which I got 74,000 points. It was still not enough to obtain the umbrella. And so in my last match, because all my other matches didn't perform well, in my last match, I had to get it. If I did not get it, I was not gonna get the exclusive rarest umbrella. In which in this round, I had to go to dance floors, dodge sequencers, get coins while dodging sequencers at the same time, and get second place in most of my rounds. And which it goes to overtime where it gets really crazy than usual. You know, you have to do all this stuff and you'll see what I had to go through. <gasps> I'm the last one. All right. All right. I cannot mess this up. And I messed up. Ooh. Oh, wow. I did not pay attention. And I'm dead. Bro, how am I not dead? Come on, come on, come on! Let's go! I had to get it. In which that one 555 coin helped me have a chance of getting the umbrella even more better with 90,000. And there it is, the Beast Brella. You won this Beast branded Brella in Fortnite this week you unlock this week's reward dang it looks really good too look at that Ooh, all that hard work paid off yeah we're gonna equip that this guy looks pretty good actually hold on look at that look it even says mr beast on it pretty cool uh, umbrella <laughs>